Welcome to TC Weekly. This week on Food Fighters, Seth tried to eat four pounds of euro. Trivial Facts talks about TV facts. Halfway to the week, talk about more dumb people and idiots unleashed. Brandon gets some sense smacked back into him. In Who Done It, Dweezil breaks a gnome, and in Gnome News, they investigate the breaking of the gnome. Welcome to Food Fighters, where we explore local eateries and do food challenges. My name is Seth. I'm Zio. And this week, I attempted the Greek Boys Euro Challenge. It was a three pound burrito and one pound of french fries. Um, it's pretty intense. It's not that intense. It was, it was intense. You also get an hour to eat it. Oh. I gave up after a half hour. I was just too full. I'm sorry, but you actually could have done this one. I don't think I could have. You it didn't, didn't look like a lot. You couldn't feel what I felt like. It just hurt. Okay, it did have a ton of like, of that z- tzatziki, z- tzatziki? That one, that Whatever. sauce. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it. It looks right. like ranch or mayonnaise. It, it just looks, it just looked like sour cream or something. And that was like smothered all over the, those two little pieces of pita bread. And you literally had like this much of like lamb. Mm-hmm. That's just, oh God. And so much onion and tomatoes and the fries. You had like a big basket of like fries. God, you could have done it. You could have helped. I'm ashamed of you. I'm not ashamed. I am ashamed. Where is that? Oh, I can do it all. <laughs> it's not here this week. What was your experience? What did what, you feel? What, how did I feel? Mm-hmm. It's been a long time since I've had a euro, and I've been really trying to go and get some. So today was very nice. It was very delicious. I started eating off the top of the first one, um, trying to push all of the the sauce off with the fries and eating the, with the fries, and then uh, what happened next? Oh, well, then I actually got the first one to fold up into uh, how I like to eat it, kind of like a taco. Um, and that oh, that whole first one was so good. But then I got so full. Like you said, it was probably that stupid pita bread. <laughs> yeah. Eyes, you know? It was so fluffy and cloudy. Oh, it was so glorious. It was nice. Mm. It was just nice touching. Like, you could just sleep on it. Just sleep on it. You'd probably break out pretty bad if you slept on it. Most though. likely. Yeah. Probably not. Probably not the best. Face. Pizza yeah. face. Pita yeah. face. Yeah, you'd be a pita <laughs> face. Oh my god. That's our new, like, tagline or whatever. In case you ever break out, it's like, pita <laughs> face. Seth, the pita face. It's not very nice. So, what would you have like gotten if you had beat the challenge? Well, I would have gotten my name and picture on the, the Hall of Fame Hall of Fame of people who have finished all four pounds. Um, and if I would have eaten three pounds, I would have gotten my name up on the, the three pound side. But since you lost, what did you get? Uh, I get my name up and picture in the losers category. <laughs> so even though I didn't do a good job, I still get publicity. Thank you, big boys. How long, when did you actually forfeit? Like how much time did you have left? Uh, I, it was like f- almost a half hour. It was somewhere like, I'd only been there 20 minutes or something like that. Like it was 38 or 37, 35, somewhere in there. Like I had not finished much time at all. So how much did you actually eat then? Um, I had 1.8 pounds left, so I think that's 1.2 pounds total that I ate. What The guy said that one guy did it in 15 minutes. He just came in one day and was like, I'm real hungry, I'm gonna do the challenge, and he did it in 15 minutes. That's ridiculous. That just doesn't even make sense. Doesn't make sense. I mean, either he had a big mouth and just inhaled that mother. Well, you did drink your juice, you, you drank your iced tea. That you was, should have waited. No, I needed that though. I felt so thirsty going in. I didn't realize that it was a challenge. <laughs> really? No, I didn't realize that like one person, 60 minutes, you have to eat all of this and you get one drink. Oh, I didn't know that either. So that was good. If you guys haven't had a Euro yet, don't eat one. Definitely go to your Greek boys that have a Euro. They're very good. 
Um, if it's their your fries are amazing. Yes, their fries are incredible. Um, if you're gonna get one for your first time, uh, ask for the sauce on the side, because I think it's kind of a weird flavor if you don't have it often. I had it for my first time and I loved it. Okay, well, you know, we're not all Zio, so. <laughs> You've been watching Food Fighters until next time. I'm Zio. I'm Seth. Stay hungry. <laughs> Say hello. Welcome to Half Woods of the Week, where we show you strange stories about the dumbest people. I'm Travis. And I'm Michael. A 25-year-old man in Tottenville, New York, was arrested after shooting an arrow in his neighbor's car. The man, Jeffrey Pernicka, had previously threatened to shoot his neighbor for making too much noise, telling them, if you don't stop making noise, I'm going to kill you and burn your house down. <laughs> Days later, as Pernicka's neighbor drove past his house, he shot a crossbow bolt into the side of his neighbor's friend's new vehicle. As police arrived and attempted to arrest Pernicka, he panicked and refused to be cuffed, crying out, Grandma, please help. Don't let them arrest me. Pernicka is being charged with attempted assault, reckless endangerment, criminal mischief, and menacing and criminal possession of a weapon. That's awesome. <laughs> I would probably shoot someone's car. Well, if you got a bow and arrow. Don't piss me off. Jonesboro, Boro, not sure, Arkansas. Arkansas police have arrested a 19 year old who led officers on a car chase after he drove a state road test for police reasons without a license. The Jonesboro Sun reports the 19 year old was arrested Wednesday on suspicion at the Arkansas test for police facility in Jonesboro. Police say he fled the office and drove away after a driver's license examiner told officers he didn't have his license. They said he struck a patrol car on his way out, causing $6,500 in damage. The chase ended when the suspect crashed into a home. The vehicle broke through the wall and which caused $20,000 in damage. So basically, kid's an idiot. There was no injuries and didn't have a license, and now he's in jail. Guess he wasn't ready for his license either. Well, obviously, I could probably drive better than that. <laughs> that was Half Wits of the Week. Next week, we'll be back with more strange stories about the dumbest people. Bye. Judge Judy makes $45 million a year from her TV show. The word television entered the language in 1907. Average American families watch TV for eight hours per day. By the time the American child reaches 14, on an average they've seen around 11,000 murders on TV. Most people dream in color, but those that grew up watching black and white television often dream in black and white. In 1987, a man hijacked a television station during an episode of Doctor Who and wore a Max Headroom mask and uttered nonsense, and he still hasn't been caught. It cost about $3.5 million for a 30-second commercial during the Super Bowl. After President Kennedy's death in 1963, the television network aired four days of commercial free coverage of his funeral, burial, and other proceedings, costing them about $100 million loss in advertising. The inventor of the television would not let his own children watch TV. He once said to his son, There is nothing on it worthwhile, and we're not going to watch it in this household, and I don't want it in your intellectual diet. The television series Extreme Makeover Home Edition has driven so many families into foreclosure that the show has to downsize their new homes. The first model of the television, a prototype made by Paul Gottlieb Nifkow, was called the Electric Telescope. Now last week we asked you how many places in the U.S. are named Turkey. If you answered four, then you are correct. Today's trivia fact. How many TV commercials does the average American see during their life? A. 2 million. B. 26 million. C. 1 million. Or D. 500,000. 
Tune in next week to see if you're right. When I was on the worship team in middle school, we named our band Porto 45. Porto 45? We practiced in a porta potty uh, place. <laughs> That's great. Some of the church has this big uh, warehouse. What happened to my head there? I think I got a headache. My eyes twitching too. Can you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up? I, I see one, I think two, maybe three. Yeah, you're not fine. You betcha. Now where the hell are I? Are we? What are you talking about? Wow, I guess I hit you harder than I thought. Huh, that's a real attitude adjustment. Oh, holy hell. Ooh. Hey, where do you think you're going? We still have to write the script for the next episode. Where do you think I'm going? I'm headed out to camp in deer season. What the heck's an episode? What are you talking about? Where are you going? I just told you where I was going. Don't you listen? Ooh, what's that? Ooh. What are you doing? It's just a computer. It's a computer. And that's a mouse. This is not a moose. I know what a moose is. This is not a moose. Don't tell me this is a moose. No, oh, I guess I hit him so hard I reverted him back to his Uber self. Huh. Well, I guess all I can do is try and smack some sense back into you. Holy wow! Top of the morning to ya! Nah. -uh. Would you like me to put another shrimp on the bobby, mate? Nope. What hell? You almost made me spill my vodka. Not even close. Collie Wobble. God, how many smacks is it going to take to get you back to normal? <gasps> Ow. Why does my face hurt? And why are my glasses on the ground? Hmm. I guess it was three. What happened? You don't even want to know. Hello, my name is Agent Zero. The boss said you had me set up camp at Northeastern Wisconsin Technical College to try and solve the many recent crimes happening there. I'm joined by my partner, a very special agent named Dweezel. And with us is a rookie named Short Timer. And these are our stories. Dweezel, I got a lead. I'm gonna go be checking it out. No need, I already figured it out! What? No way. Yeah, I'm interrogating him right now! Dweezel, why do you sound so crazy? Cause I've been waiting for this moment for weeks! Weeks! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna follow my lead. You follow yours. Remember to report back to zero. I already did! <laughs> Finally! 
after waiting for this for weeks, I finally get to interrogate you. Ever since Jessica brought you in a couple months back, I never liked you at all. And now, I get to interrogate you, you evil scum. I think you murdered Bailey with your pointy hat. So let's get started. Got my notes here. My name is Special Agent Dweezel, and we, Short Timer and Special Agent Zero, oh wait, he's not so special. Mama says I'm the special one, are investigating a murder. A murder I blame you for! Sorry, that was very disrespectful. You are a suspect. Well, are you gonna say anything? Are you just gonna sit there? <sighs> okay, it's your choice. I can either get you charged for murder or charge you for other charges that might be charged when they charge you. I don't know. So, or you can just talk. You can just talk and just spill the beans. Tell everybody your secret. Tell why you killed Bailey. Oh wait, that was too far. I'm sorry. So what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be, Mr. Gnome? Still not talking. Well, I see how it's gonna be. Hmm. Maybe he can't hear me because of his headphones. Huh. Can you please take off your headphones? Please take off your headphones. Take off your headphones! Take off your headphones! Ah! That's better. Can you hear me now? Okay. What music were you listening to anyway? What? Marilyn Manson? What? I didn't... I didn't think you, you were that kind of person. I mean, I know you're a gnome. But I just, I just didn't think you were into Marilyn Manson. That's kind of hard music. No, I'm not judging you. Fine, be that way. It's an honor having you in our friends, boss lady. That's a lie, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's a really big fat one too. If you guys would stop screwing up, I wouldn't be here. Okay, how are we screwing up? A gunfight with Dweezel, followed by beating him up. It was an off day for me, okay? Uh, students blowing up? Activate. Self-destruct. <laughs> I can't help it that they make faulty terminators here. Dweezel better have something. You and me both. So how well do you know Bailey? And yes, I am assuming that you know Bailey because you were at the scene of the crime. Yes, there was a crime. And don't change the subject, answer the question! Well, are you gonna say anything? What question? How well do you know Bailey? Fine, I'll ask a different question. Where were you on the night of Bailey's murder? Six Flags? Ah, I have picture proof of you at the crime scene. Ah, oh, jeez, do you want to see it? I, I, wait, I actually don't have the picture, so you can't see it. But I do have the picture, stop judging me! No, I highly doubt you have an evil clone. If anything, you are the evil clone. What now? <laughs> what? Take that back! Take that back! I am not a horrible investigator! I don't want to do this anymore! Zero! What? I tell him to do things, he doesn't listen! I mean, he's obviously crazy! I mean, look at him! Dweezil's wearing red! When does Dweezil ever wear red? This is the last time. Oh, please tell me he's getting fired. Guys, he's uncrackable! Dweezil, if there's anyone that can crack that gnome, it's you. You get back in there and you show him who's boss. Okay, Zero, hee <laughs> hee! 
Zero, you know I'm a patient person. Since when? Since always. But when you don't do your job right, I lose my patience. Great. Now we owe the school more money. Not only is he fired, but he's going to the nut house where he belongs. And if you don't take care of this, I'm gonna take care of you. Welcome to Gnome News. I'm Bailey. And I'm Robin. The school is back from Thanksgiving break. We hope you enjoyed the feast with your families. There's less than a month of school, so hang in there. There are still events to look forward to. Is it your birthday this month? If so, you need to head on down to Student Involvement for your free birthday treat. On the 3rd, there will be a scavenger hunt here at school. Throughout the day, there will be $200 to find around the campus. If you find a fake bill, you can bring it in to student involvement and trade it in for real money. On the 4th, they're offering a spa day for students. Come on down to the Commons for a chair massage and manicures. Take advantage of this free event and get away from all the stress of finals. The third annual NWTC Talent Show is right around the corner. Come watch fellow students on the 4th demonstrate their abilities at the historic Riverside Ballroom. Fall graduates only have until the 5th to place their cap and gown order. Do yourself a favor, order soon so you can avoid those costly overnight deliveries. We have breaking news about the DMT's beloved mascot, Oscar. Dweezil from Who Done It was interrogating the gnome about recent cases occurring at the college. In the spur of the moment, Weasel shook the gnome and the suspect broke down literally. So, uh, I was interrogating the gnome. And what happened was he was not giving me the answers I was looking for. And he was not even talking. And I, I don't even know why the gnome wasn't even talking. But he wasn't talking. And I was just trying so hard to get him to talk. And... I kind of reacted a little bit harder than I intended to, and so I kind of like squeezed, I kind of like squeezed and shook the answers out of him, but he kind of lost his head, and I totally didn't mean for that to happen, but it just fell and it broke into millions of pieces. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to hurt him, but it just, it just sort of happened. I totally didn't mean to hurt the guy. So you gotta believe me. You gotta believe me. This has been a horrible accident for Oscar and a great shock for DMT students. This is a shock for us too. Yeah, he's our mascot for the news show. We will report next week on his condition. We hope that he will be okay. Until then, this is Noam News signing out. Thanks for watching. See you next week.